right, so Jonathan Shaw here with Troy Dixon. Troy, oh, this is Big Dick Dixon. This is Big Dick Dixon. How you doing today? Doing great. Doing pretty good. Watching That's these awesome, girls. man. Yeah. Um, so talk to me a little about women in the league. What, what do you think of? Um, because I know that Dallas, we have two women on the team. What do you think a game does like this uh, for the future of the league? Uh, it, it encourages more girls to actually play. This is actually good. I mean, you know, most girls see this as you know really physical, but you know the girls here really love to play dodgeball. So. It, it's absolutely true. Um, you gotta have. You gotta have um, some balls to uh, play, as a boy, especially on the real teams um, here. Yeah. Um, I love. I, I was very excited to hear about that being an all all girls game, um, and it's great for the league. And right now, I'm not sure how they divided it up, but the left side is rather dominating. Yeah. Um, Michigan. Oh. Michigan. And a great catch by number, I'm trying to get her name, I really want to give her a shout out for Saginaw Valley. Help me out, help me out, help me out. You're a girl in the one. 007. 007. What's her name? Colleen. Colleen from 007. Oh! And a great out, got number 27. Rachel Joyce. Rachel, yes, thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, it's right off the bat, man. You gotta love this, man. I mean, these girls love playing the sport. Oh, man. An elimination by number 28 of James Madison. Um, I know we have seen James Madison several times. I don't think if you stack their like best girls up, I think they are. I think they have the best uh, female depth. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Uh, I, I think, I think the ball, my ball girls might have something to say about that. Ball, okay, that's, that's respectable. That's fair enough. Uh, probably just because I see JMU a, a, a decent amount. Yeah. I still know. I'm still worried about getting hit in the nuts, even though we're safe. Even though I'm on the side over here, I'm counting on number eight Thomas in Saginaw Valley, who got very close to getting me out when we were playing earlier, and I was, did not appreciate it. Great catch by number 71, Rogers, for Ensula. Whitney? Whitney? Brittany. Brittany. Brittany Rogers of Ensula. Trying to give everyone a shout out. Trying to give everyone a shout out. Uh, number 33, uh, Canova for James Madison, has an absolute, has a relatively good arm. Um, relatively good. Relatively good? Absolutely good. Relatively, relatively, good. Absolutely relatively good. Uh, relatively good arm. That's a good one. Um, I'm loving the fact that you're still at 69 right now. Yeah, hey, I know. I know. That's, that's the ball point. Did you guys do that? Did you guys 69? No. 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 We got three out Love seeing energy out of the ladies coming out. Represent their university. See, you were smart. You charged your phone, and oh. Ryan's got like 5% left. Oh, man. Yes, Rachel yeah. Joyce takes out the first one. Yeah. Oh, uh, nice out by number 27 of Bowling Green. Yeah, 33 has a cannon for James Bash. Oh! And a snag by number 14 of JMU. Um, oh, good elimination by number 12 on Katie Polachek of uh, my school, Towson University. Katie, when you listen to this, catch that girl next time. Catch that. I'm just kidding. Shout out to my girls, uh, Janice and Katie, who both play on our real 15-man team. Um, so... Uh, nice elimination by number 28 again from James Madison. I really want to get their names. But I really what is, yeah, I want I want to give as many shout outs as possible. The numbers are good. The numbers are good. Numbers are good, says Thomas, number eight. Oh! And Ensula number 52 coming in clutch with the catch. Taking out, in my opinion, the best female thrower here of uh, 28 of James Madison. That's an absolute can another cannon for an arm. Very yeah, active. You got a name for 28? Uh, Big Dick Dixon. Uh, tell me a little bit how, how your personal team fared today. 
Uh, we did all right. We didn't. We didn't win any of the matches today, which is okay. unfortunate. But we all, you know, finally after an entire season came together and decided to play real dodgeball. So it went pretty well. Gotcha. But at the same time, we would have liked to see some more Ws. Okay. But Fair you know, enough. one thing we want everybody to know is that you know, if Paul comes to have fun. If we you know mess around and you know do trick shot games, that's what we do. You know what, man? That's half the fun of coming out. I was talking to my assistant, actually Katie Polachek over here on the bus right down, and I was saying how the house we we take this kind of seriously. Uh, we like had written excuses to get off for Friday for the bus and everything. We were saying like, you know what? We came down here. We got off of college to play dodgeball for a long time. Like, is there anything better than that? Oh, and uh, a great catch by 71 Rogers of Ensua. Coming and caught several times in this match. Um, now it is a basic JMU um, on the right side. JMU and Ensua on the right side. Um, uh, pretty much against Saginaw Valley and Grand Valley on the left. Oh, and Paul, shout out to the Paul number 12. Don't forget my girl. Yeah, don't forget. What's her name? Rachel Joyce. Rachel Joyce. Shout Senior. out to Rachel Joyce. So, Senior. Her last Congratulations, time. Rachel, on graduation. I'm very jealous. I'm going to miss Dodge Ball, though. Nice arm. Very nice. Oh, uh, nice elimination by number 17 of James Madison. I'm going to tell you something, man. Their girls can play. Their girls can play. Nice try by number 14, Perez. Pierce. I don't know how to pronounce that. Pierce. P-I-E-R-S-Z. How do you pronounce that? P-I-E-R-Z. Pierce? Number P-I-E-R-Z. Piers, Piers, Piers for JMU. Nice throw. Maybe we'll get a personal interview with her so we can. Maybe we'll get a personal right interview with her. See, I like this, the fact that she actually dual wields her ball. Yeah, I was going to say. Not afraid to dual wield. Uh, Big Dick Dixon and I are talking a little bit. We're noticing two girls, one from Saginaw Valley, the other from. Uh, Grand Valley, number 88 Grand Valley, number 20. They just got together and did a team throw. And even though it's like late all-star match, uh, there's someone to be set for that. Like the cohesion that it takes to go together. And that was good. And I noticed that both of them were pinching, actually. Uh, that's, that, you don't see that not too often. Well, these aren't, these aren't ordinary girls. They like to get down and... They like to get down. Down and dirty. Sorry. Down and dirty. And squeeze sorry, the ball. They like to get quickly. down and squeeze the balls. They like it rough. But it's going to get rough. It gets rough. Eight, ten. 11, 12, you. Nice spot, dodge by 71 Rogers. Game up. I would say starting out at a slower pace, I guess you could say. Um, yeah, getting down to it. Down to it. Who's, who's tough, who's got the car to to play. A nice arm by 88 for uh, Grand Valley. Very nice arm. I really, I really, I really like the way, the way she plays. Oh, yeah. She's really very impressive. She looks like she should be on there 15 minutes. She's very impressive with her balls. Yeah. Nice throw by Pierce again, 14, just a little off target from James Madison University. Can't really see them. Rachel, get up. A nice catch by 88. Uh, I want to get 88 for James Madison. Put these down. Yeah. Oh, but another good catch from who caught that one? Who caught that one? Wait, Which one? The uh, Grand Valley, Saginaw Valley, Saginaw Valley. Thomas, I think it was. It was a nice catch. Yeah, is it Thomas? Was that right? Is she Thomas? Yes. No. I'm not even close, guys. I got that one completely. I got that completely wrong. Um, it was Maynard for Saginaw Valley. A nice catch. 
it, it, it's easy to decipher, decipher between the two now. Lindsay wears the glasses, Allison doesn't. Exactly. Oh, and a great catch again. 20. Allison. Allison. Allison of uh, Saginaw Valley really stepping up in the girls match at least four or five catches now I don't want to say so far for the first point all-star and she almost just hit me in the face uh, But that's totally cool. Nice arm. Yeah, nice arm I'd love to see uh, the JMU and Sula team that's out right now stuff plus up a little bit more Ooh. Oh and another nice catch Another nice catch by Rogers, 71 of the school. That is at least, that is at least, it's at least five or six on the day. Their team comes back and wins. I believe the president of Insula, Brittany Rogers. I, I the president of Insula, Brittany Rogers. President or Brittany, are you the president of Insula? What you say? What you say? VP, vice president of Insula Dodgeball. Wow, and a cannon by the yeah. Give me the balls. Oh, nice. Nice out by Grand Valley. Girl, I don't want to get, I want to get her name. Is anyone here from Grand Valley? No, no one's here from Grand Valley. She's just got a Grand Valley shirt on. I want to help her out. Give her a shout out. Oh. For JMU with, with an out bullet. I'm not sure if that hit ball, but he is not happy. Oh my god, she Lindsay just got it. Yeah. Wow. I did not see that one coming. Oh, Grand Valley taking out number eight for James Madison. Uh, Clement. Clement. Here's with a nice throw for James Madison. On point all day. Make a throw at you. Make a throw at you. Yeah. Oh, Moments. Moments. Oh, and a good catch by 88 for James Madison. And number eight, number six for um, DePaul, her name is? Which one? That's Grand Valley, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, number six for Grand Valley, uh, uh, not even that is. She is that on my team? Robin? Number six for Grand Valley, Robin. Shout out to Robin, Grand Valley. He's the only one left now for her team. Um, she has all but one ball. Look at a catch! Uh, oh! And could use a catch. For just some friendly advice to all the ladies, it is not a good idea to throw at Shanice Perrin, number nine of Towson University. She catches everything, and she catches our best male throwers too. Shanice Perrin, of, of number nine of uh, Towson. She's the best female. Jailbreak. 15 minutes left on the clock. All the women back into the game. We're gonna restart this. We're gonna redo this. We're gonna hand shots. Restart this. And I will try to be giving you a shout out. Uh, oh, an elimination of Sag Sacaracia. Uh, Sacaracia. What? What should I call Infinity? She, her, she's number in Infinity. Uh, for Kent State, the first one to go out, but a nice throw, just got hit on the pack pedal, but good throw, very nice arm. James Madison, girls sticking together on the left-hand side. Rubbing out the East Coast. when 
that happens to us. by number eight, Clement, on the right-hand side for being captured. I am not wearing my glasses. I have no idea. That's fine. Nice catch. Uh, Alonda Beal. Alonda Beal, number 44. Nice catch. Football University. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Trump Dick Dixon is happy to see his uh, club well represented in the female match. Uh, one of my favorite girls, Claire Randall. Say hello. Hi, Claire. How are you doing? Uh, so talk to us a little bit about uh, what the All Ladies NCAA match uh, does for females in this league. Help us out for me. You know, I think it has a lot of potential to really prove ourselves because a lot of females don't really get playing time. Um, unfortunately, a lot of these a lot of these girls still play with the tactics. They play with the guys. We really need to get out there, play fast, play hard, and prove that we have what it takes to play with the guys. Absolutely. Uh, what have you seen from your team, uh, from your team specifically, that you like so far? Um, I like that we're thrilling, I like that we're catching, and we're getting out there and we're playing as hard as we can. That's awesome. Claire, best of luck to you the rest of the way. That was Claire from uh, Depaul, number double zero, um, joining us. Thank you for your interview Oh, and an unlikely miss from Shanice Perrin, number nine of James Madden, uh, for, excuse me, from Towson. has a great arm. It's number eight command. I've said her name several yeah, times yeah. for um she deserves recognition. She does because she has a candy. Uh, oh and a good try by number 27 of James Madison Murphy. Uh, just a little off on that one. Just a little off. Just a little off. Just a tip. Slap <laughs> hand. Slap hand for the joke. That was, that was a good joke by Mario Mario from the Paul. Mario Mario. Mario Mario. Mario Mario. Oh, and a great elimination again from number eight comment on uh, James Madison. Oh, and a voice. Oh, it was a great catch again from Clement. Definitely the MVP on the right side of her. Uh, this team has uh, showed her catching and knockout abilities, just taking down girls left and right. Uh, good block from uh, number. The worst problem is sometimes with all um, ladies match, uh, ladies gentlemen, being the commentator, their hair blocks not only their name but their number as well. And I gotta wait for them to like do like the twist or something so I can finally get their name correct. I got Claire's wrong name, unfortunately, like, at least five times. I was like, Claire or Claire? Claire? No, it's Claire. And finally got it. But is this just the first half? Or is this 50 minutes? Yeah, it's in 30 minutes. Sixty-nine. Oh, and number eight Clement just missed the headshot by. So, Troy, Troy Big Dixon. Troy Big Dixon is going, going in for the female match. I'm going in. <laughs> Do it, do it, do it. Come on. You know what, Troy? You, Troy, you really should. Troy had second thoughts about going into the all NCAA league. Well, I was just confronted by one of my teammates, Rebecca Seaman, saying uh -huh. that all the girls would hate me if I did that. Because this oh, oh, and a great catch from Rachel Joyce. Rachel Joyce. Rachel Joyce, we got number 12 of the ball. It's really nice that I got Big Dick Dixon over here helping Dix, me out. Dix, Dix. <laughs> Big Dix. Oh, hey, hey, Rachel. We don't, we, don't, we don't want anybody getting easily offended. Oh! Boom! Who is that? Who is that? That's Claire! Oh, and Claire comes in after... Claire comes in after a laser. 
laser just catches it up high by the face. I am, I am looking catch. at Claire's boyfriend right now. He's just very excited, scratching his head. Because his, girl, his girlfriend playing much better than him this weekend. Uh, which one? Which one's your boyfriend? Yes! Right there, Sam Murphy. Okay. Say hi, Sam. Huh? Say hi. That's God. Hey, that's God. Still looking Sam Murphy with that amazingly sexy mustache that would take me about a year and a half to grow. Uh, you just said shit on live uh, podcast. I'm just, I'm completely kidding. Damn it! Thanks, Alana. Number eight climbing with the cast of James Madison all over. Honestly, on this team, number eight from JMU is Clement. Clement. I say she's definitely had it so far, but definitely for. Oh, uh, great catch by number nine from James Madison. Uh, her name is number nine. Number Julie? Nine. Julie. A great catch by Julie, number nine from James Madison. Yeah. It's their hair. That's the problem. It's the hair gets in the way. Oh, and a nice catch on the side by Saginaw Valley. Oh, and it gets nailed by Kevin Bryant. Oh my god. There's no mercy on the dodgeball court. No time for sorries. So we are down to two players on the uh, right-hand side. Now three. It's another nice catch by Julie McNally, uh, number nine for James Madison. He must just have stepped out. Oh, and Clement misses it. And it's down to Katie Bolacek of Towson University. The only one left, and she throws an arrogant, arrogant, arrogant. And with, they decided not to start again, just to keep going in. Oh, a nice cannon by Sa. 54 again from um, Ensure. Oh, and a good try by number oh. And Shanice Karen with the cast before getting hit right in the face. Oh, 27 from James Madison. What's her name? That was you? That was, that was your throw? Short big dick Dixon, so proud. I'm so proud of my girls. Uh, two Ansula girls, number 59, and uh, number 71, I thought it was. But just right here on the left hand side. Big Dick Dixon, do you mind that I'm saying leaning against you? No. Yeah. Oh! And Shanice Perrin with an amazing catch from Towson University. Beautiful. That was beautiful. That was beautiful. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, no problem. I'll rate this Ow. Uh, she would be scary for yeah. you know, a regular 15-man roster. Because you, you really wouldn't expect it. Really wouldn't expect it. 
took the ball at all. That's, that's tough. Take the pace off. Oh, and a nice throw by 27 Murphy from James Madison. Unfortunately caught uh, by number four, Cat. What a cat. Do you know what this cat plays? Takeda. Takeda. She's a former DePaul player. Former DePaul player. Former teammate. Former teammate. Have no wonder Troy knows all this. Take pride in all that stuff. Oh, and a, just a little miss from oh, number 17 by James Madison. Ow. Way to shake that one off, Smith. Way to shake that one off. It's like, I, I got it. Like, yeah. Exactly, right? Yeah, that'll do. I don't feel much anymore. Just a little bit. Thanks for that beautiful saying in there, Troy. Rachel loves it. Rachel loves it. Oh, oh. Nice try by number 12, Deep Ball. Rachel Joyce. Rachel Joyce with a cross court, just a little high, but a very nice. With almost two minutes left. Good block by number 15. Uh, that was by Saginaw Valley right there. 16? Yes. Mer Werner. Mer Werner. Mer Werner. Mer Werner. We're going to go to Werner. And a WKU. Oh, and a great team catch by uh, number double zero of Saginaw Valley. It was actually all for other teammates, so she loved it. Um, a great catch. One thirty left in the game, and it's just been a lot of fun to watch. I'm um, really excited for the future of women's dodgeball in the NCAA. It's got a lot of girls that really just you know, have a real passion for this sport. Um, and it's definitely, definitely a good thing. I definitely am too. Though, though, you know, it's my last ride. I've enjoyed playing with the girls there. Yeah. Big shout outs to Alana Bill, Claire Randall, Rachel Joyce, Becky Seaman, Kat Takeda, all of Rachel Joyce, Becky Seaman, Kat Takeda, all of my DePaul girls. I love you all. It's awesome. Great shout outs there. It's been, been great playing with you all and all the girls around the league too. Troy, is this your last year? This is